We have seen an increase, and it does look like it is a true increase, uh, but with the more accurate reporting. New data shows an increase in hate crimes across Utah, particularly targeting the state's black and LGBTQ communities. It is a result of some big changes to how law enforcement tracks hate crimes. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the exclusive story. It happens every year. Someone steals or tears down pride flags put up by Project Rainbow as a symbol of support for Utah's LGBTQ community. The majority of ours just get stolen, but we do have a small number that, you know, will get spray painted or torn up or even lit on fire. Lucas Horn says about 10% of the 6,000 flags they put up statewide are stolen or vandalized. Under the law, it is considered a hate crime. New state laws and policy changes require every police agency in Utah to document whether a crime had a bias component. The Utah Department of Public Safety then verifies it. We do show a true increase in hate crime. The Department of Public Safety confirmed 96 hate crimes in the state in 2021. Most of them are vandalisms and simple assaults. The data provided to Fox 13 News shows increases in hate crimes against black, LGBTQ and Hispanic people. The state also documents crimes targeting religions, including Mormonism. But DPS acknowledges the data is only as good as who's reporting it. If they report the incident to law enforcement and law enforcement does the investigation, um, then yes, they would be capturing that. So if more people are coming forward, we're going to see an increase in those. Utah has a hate crimes law that enhances penalties when someone actually is prosecuted. But the Utah Department of Public Safety says this can also inform policy like what groups the state needs to be doing outreach to and even educating law enforcement on recognizing hate crimes. They're distressing all the same just because in, in the black community as being such a small percentage of the uh, population here in Utah. Bridget Shears chairs the Martin Luther King Jr. Human Rights Commission. But it's good that we're seeing um, so there's visibility to the fact that these things are happening in our communities. Um, you know, and, and maybe we can get in front of it before it happens. Horn says the vandalism project Rainbow Faces doesn't stop them. You know, this just goes to show why it's still important to be so visible and outwardly supportive of queer people and outwardly prideful of yourself if you are a queer person because you know, it's that it's that visibility and exposure that breaks down hatred in Taylorsville. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.